the existence of fine tuning is well documented and there is no controversy about this fact. The problem is to interpret this fine tuning. And there are three main lines of interpretation. The first uh, main line is agnosticism, that is that a statement about the impossibility for the human mind to understand the, the deep structure of the universe. The second line of interpretation uh, uh, takes into account the possibility that there is design in the universe. For instance, there will, would be a, a, a will uh, a, which is acting in the universe or, or through on the universe. For instance, this is a statement, this is a line of explanation which is favored by, by theism, whether it is uh, Judaism, Christianity or Islam, for instance. This is this, uh, this idea that there is providence in the universe and the universe has been prepared for the existence of life and the existence of human being. Uh, but these two uh, lines of explanations are not accepted by scientists because the first one is uh, uh, the acceptance of, uh, of the end of science and the second line is maybe philosophy or theology but that's not science. The third line of explanation uh, is the line of explanation in terms of a multiverse. That means that uh, this fundamental law is capable of generating a kind of cosmic lottery in which various patches of the universe have different uh, values for the uh, derived laws and they have different constants. And, some we, and so we are fortunate to live in a, in a part of the universe where the constants are able to produce a bio-friendly environment with galaxies, stars and planets. And in other patches of the universe, the constants of physics are not able to produce this bio-friendly universe. So we, we, in any, any case, we are, we are facing a, a, a problem when we try to interpret uh, uh, this uh, fine-tuning of a constants. Either we accept uh, to, to, uh, uh, to see that as a, a, an evidence for the existence of a, of a will in the cosmos, that is, uh, of God's will, if we are uh, believers, or we uh, have the uh, explanation in terms of multiverse, but this explanation uh, has to be put on firmer grounds from a physical uh, uh, point of view. And even if it is put on firmer ground, we don't know whether it is going to be testable. So we are in some way in a dead end. So as a matter of fact, in any of the two explanations, whether there is uh, the will uh, uh, and, the, and providence uh, God's will and providence in the universe, or there is the multiverse, we are, we are facing difficulties. And uh, this is the reason why these uh, theories of, of, of the multiverse and fine-tuning and, and all the debate between scientists, theologians and philosophers is so interesting because it's telling us something about reality, but it's also telling us something about our ability to know reality.